Okay, I've seen this uh, crocodile maths question on the BBC News website, and um, it's not like the other exam questions that have come up that have looked confusing, that are just hard questions. Um, this one immediately looks a bit silly. Um, so uh, the BBC have reproduced the setup here. Um, I think I'll, uh, I'll have a go through it and see if it looks any more sensible by the time I'm finished. So I'm going to try uh, pasting it into OneNote. There's a thing um, for reference, and I'll, I've got my uh, tablet, so I'll be uh, I'll draw on top of it. So we've got um, this crocodile, and um, he's on one side of a river, and uh, he needs to swim across it to get to this zebra. Um, and the question says that uh, he travels at different speeds on land and in water, so there's going to be some kind of compromise um, to do with how far he travels on either one. Um, of course, if he was travelling constant speeds on both, then he'd just uh, go on the shortest one, I think, because um, this river doesn't seem to have any width. Um, this reminds me of a question on Marcus Sertoy's, no, Dara Breen's School of Hard Sums thing. Um, where the trick was it doesn't matter where you cross a river um, as long as you do it. Um, so maybe that's that's implicit. Maybe our, our students are already wise enough to know that. Anyway, um, so first bit, calculate the time taken if the crocodile does not travel on land. Um, that happens, I suppose, if uh, this, this x here is, um, is 20 meters, so there's no, there's no land bit. So we stick x equals 20 into this, uh, this equation. By the way, this is the function giving the, the time taken to reach the zebra. I um, don't know why the zebra is not named in the statement. There's clearly a picture of a zebra, and we've named the crocodile. Um, it's just called its prey. Um, maybe we're not meant to dwell on what's going to happen. Anyway, um, so stick x equals 20 into this, we get 5 root uh, 36 plus 20 squared, which is 400, um, plus 4 times 20 minus x, which is 0, so I'll call that uh, times 0. Okay, so 5 root uh, 4, 3, 6. Uh, doesn't look like a square number to me. Hmm. No, it's not a square number. I'm going to leave it as that. It's got a factor of 4. I could pull that out. 10 root, uh, what's that, 109? Yeah, it's not a square number. Okay, so that's, uh, that's my A part 1. Part 2, calculate the time taken if the crocodile swims the shortest distance possible. Hmm... Now clearly the first version of this said uh, like if the crocodile doesn't swim any distance at all because we haven't talked about how wide this thing is but uh, yeah so we're going to put x equals zero into this and this model's really not very good it's not talking about any any amount of time to cross the river at all Okay, so if x is 0, uh, we put go 5 root 36 plus uh, 4 times 20, which is uh, 5 times 6 is 30, plus 80, 110. Okay, so uh, part A, that was roughly 100, and part 2, that's 110. Um, part B says between these two extremes there's one value of x which minimizes uh, the time taken find this value of x and hence calculate the minimum possible time uh, how does the eraser on this work what do i do not like that uh, it used to be that you could uh, yeah do that and then what do i do how do i want to delete cut there we go super uh, right, uh, so this is a Scottish hires exam. I assume they've done differentiation. Is that what we need to do? That's how I would find the maximum of this. Um, 
I don't know, maybe maybe there's another way out that I'll come up with in a bit. So 5 times the square root of 36 plus x squared is 36 plus x squared to the half plus 4, 20 minus x. Uh, okay, so t dash is uh, 5 over 2 times 2x. Uh, this is why you should write your x's as uh, curly things. There we go. Uh, times 36 plus x squared to the minus a half. Okay, and I want that to be equal to zero. Um, so those twos cancel there. Mm -hmm. So I reckon. 5 times 36 plus x squared to the minus a half. Oops, sorry, 5x equals 4. Let's multiply by yeah, that thing with j. So 5x is 4. 36 plus x squared to the half. Square it, why not? 25x squared equals 16. 36 plus x squared. Oof. A is a Pythagorean triple. Pythagorean? Mm. Uh, 16 times 36. Well, there's a thing. 360 plus 180 uh, plus 36. 5, 7, 6. Uh, how do I scroll down? Do I, is that a thing OneNote does? It used to. Uh, turn that off. Uh, nope. I'm going to have to do the, the funny selecty do with Google again. Move all that up there. Right, there we go. Stuff. Okay, so 9 8 squared is 5, 7, 6. So X. No? Why can't I draw that? Very weird. <laughs> I can start writing down here. Okay, x squared. It's 5, 7, 6 over 9. Uh, that's 5, 60 plus 16. It's 5, 40 plus 36. So that's 60. Uh, four. So x is probably I could write eight. Okay. Um, so the maximum of this is is when x equals eight. It's pretty good, but uh, that's not good at all. Let's, let's read some stuff. Um, so x is eight. That's the answer. Uh, eight marks for that little bit of calculus. Fine. Um, still doesn't feel like a good question. Um, yeah, that's a terrible model. So there are two parts to this equation. We've got 5 root 36 plus x squared and 4 times 20 minus x. Uh, 20 minus x is also known as the distance you spend on land. So he travels at um, now it takes four seconds to travel a meter. So he's about a quarter of a meter per second on land. So as a constant. Um, yeah. Fine, I can believe that he's a crocodile. Um, Yeah, I think maybe a meter a second for a crocodile. I don't know. They move, they look like they move pretty quickly, but it's not ridiculous. The other bit: five root thirty-six plus x squared. Square root of x squared is x, so it's almost constant. But there's this root thirty-six plus x squared thing. Um. 
So there's a big no. There's a if x is zero, it takes five times six seconds. Um, by the way, we came up with what was it like a hundred and something seconds before? Oh, I didn't calculate the minimum possible time. If x is eight in there, um, if x is eight, that's thirty-six plus sixty-four, hundred five, so fifty plus uh, four times twelve, forty-eight, ninety-eight seconds. That's a minute and a half. Um, what's this zebra doing? It's being chased for twelve seconds on land by a crocodile. Pretty stupid zebra. Anyway. Um, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. So back to this, uh, this thing. Um, the longer the crocodile spends uh, swimming, the less of an effect this this thirty six has, I think. It, that's something like it's it's better to go a little bit diagonally. Um, yeah, so maybe that's what that is. Maybe this is actually a good model. Um, so we've got let's see, we've got a river here. We've got some distance there. That's the width. Width. And then we've got x. Then we're going to swim like that. Um, I'm going to make a guess and say that's six meters. Um, yeah, so the total distance traveled there, that's uh, d squared is, uh, uh, is six squared plus uh, x squared. So that's that's where that came from. d is uh, root 36 plus x squared. Okay, so it does tell us how wide the river is and that it takes some time to cross it. That would have been a really good thing to get the student to ask. Um, that just looks baffling as it is, um, just producing this. Um, I think uh, when you just tell someone some maths out of context, it can look uh, inexplicable and like gibberish. I mean, that, that did to me, um, but now I've been through the working out, uh, I know what each of those bits means. Um, yeah, so I'm not particularly pleased with that question, but uh, it's not completely stupid, and I'm sure someone's going to defend it, um, saying how they got to it. Really, deriving that thing, you could have chucked in another mark for um, things six metres wide, work out how long it takes, given the speed of the crocodile. Don't know why they didn't think that was worth giving some marks for. Oh well. <laughs>